Hey guys, Richie again here for episode three of Ghost Comic. Again, I'll introduce, we got Brent on camera. We got a new addition once again. We've got Randy on second camera. And of course, we got our self-acclaimed boom bitch, Danielle. She told me I could say that. She, in fact, she made me. All right, so today we're at the old spaghetti factory. There's actually four active ghosts here. So we got a full crowd. We got a couple older gents who are a bit mischievous and we also have kids. So we got a pretty family friendly episode. Can't wait to get started. So uh, yeah, let's go on in guys. Oh my gosh, hello Richie. Oh, it's just good for show. Hello. Oh, okay, here's our special hello. guest of the night. I had a very difficult time. <laughs> I kept asking people where, where the old spaghetti factory was and they just kept saying, why do you want to go to old spaghetti factory? <laughs> all right, perfect. We'll get y'all. We'll get y'all mic'd up. Everyone, I hope, you're, hope you're ready. We got two comics tonight. Here we go. If you guys are ready, we have a few ghosts in here. We got a couple old timers back there. So, debonair gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, we also got a couple of kids. Kids. Uh, oh. So, I hope you got some. I always uh, hate when people bring kids to the restaurant, especially when they're dead. Really ruins the mood. But hopefully tonight, that's what we're looking for: is a ruined mood for meals, good mood for comedy. Let's fire in and entertain these ghosts. This is uh, cart 53. The ghost in here, his name is Edward. Apparently he used to work on the trains, uh, I think back in like the 60s. And then obviously they upgraded to electrical. They brought this in as a decorative piece and Edward said, you know what, fuck it, I'll come too. So he's in here, he's frequently seen just sitting in there in his full uniform. So hopefully we catch something there today. Now back here is actually something that's, that's really interesting. This spot's supposed to be pretty active. We've got a, a kid back here. His name is Edward as well. I think like most ghosts are named Edward. His thing is that he, uh, he has no eyes. And waitresses see him running back here underneath this table. When they catch up to him, he's looking at him with, uh, with no eyes. No offense, Edward. I hope I don't see you tonight. Yeah, it's a pretty creepy spot. Perfect for a well-lit dinner, so. So we have the women's bathroom here. We have a pretty mischievous guy. He's described as like being like short with red hair and like a scruffy little dude in red long johns. And apparently he's seen running out here. He's known to yell at staff by their name and then laugh about it. In the bathroom, he'll stand outside the stalls. Later on, we're gonna do some jokes in the stalls for him just to see if we can get him laughing. So I'm here with Clinton. He's the manager at uh, Old Spaghetti Factory. Clinton, thank you for, for letting us film here and everything like that. Uh, so what have you experienced in your time here? Uh, absolutely nothing. Nothing? No ghosts. No, no, no weird? Nope, nothing. Ah. So yeah, we'll cut that one out. Uh, on, on we go with our investigation where there's definitely ghosts. All right, so we're in the, the back of the room here at Old Spaghetti Factory. The one person that's back here is a child named Edward. Now, Edward has a few interesting traits. He loves, uh, loves running, is seen without eyes. Uh, also, bends forks. So he's got a few talents going on. Let's see, we put a few forks out in case he wants to show himself and, you know, bend some forks. This is kind of like a rudimentary way I used to do crowd work. I don't really do it anymore because it's, you know, it's a bit bossy. Anyway, just for, for history's sake, just, you know, how kind of where my humble roots came. Uh, if you guys want to stand back, just, you know, clear your energies a little bit. Hi, Edward. Just here to entertain you, give you, give you a few jokes. If you enjoy the joke, let me know either yes or no if you liked it. Like I said, there's no pressure. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. Here we go. So they say laughter's contagious. But fuck, they should have warned you about the flu. R. Hell does R mean? What is R? What is that? So yeah, it's not a, it's not a hundred percent. If any of this offends you, I do apologize. Don't bend any forks about it. Coming and going is a great name for a sperm bank. So this is an area. A psychic came in 
and said there's like a vortex, some sort of a spectral vortex. So it's kind of like a highway for a ghost coming in and out. So I'm sure you guys had birthdays when you were alive. One thing I like to do on my, my friend's birthdays is I like to buy them a pack of cigarettes. And they always say the same thing. They're like, oh, you're a lifesaver. It's like they don't even know how these things work. People always ask me why I keep crackers. So many crackers in my car. I say, Richie, what's with, all the, what's with all the crackers in your car? And I say, oh, just in case I decide to soup it up. We're about to head into the women's bathroom. Apparently what happens here is there's this little red-headed mischievous guy who yells your name and, and laughs at you. You know, I guess we can't make him laugh. We're up I Shits usually Creek. prefer the men's personally. <laughs> All right, so he tends to, if you're in a stall, hides behind it. Yeah, we'll give it a try. The lights don't turn off here for safety reasons. Old Spaghetti Factory really cares about safety. All right, <laughs> you can do that. <laughs> Richie, I have a question. Is it kind of weird that we're in a haunted chain restaurant? <laughs> like, can you imagine like being in the Taco Bell of the damned? <laughs> Evil has touched this McDonald's. <laughs> I heard a guy dipped his balls in glitter. Pretty nuts. My roommates asked me to stop playing Wonderwall. I said maybe. I wish I loved anything as much as my dad loves gravy. Every time he's had gravy, he said, ah, oh, this is fantastic gravy. But you remember the gravy that scorned him? It was seven years ago at Thanksgiving and Aunt Joan had the audacity to put apples into the gravy. You know how I know that? He still brings it up every time there's gravy. People who don't need porn to get themselves off are the real heroes. We all need an outlet to get off. These guys just need a shower and a vision. Where's their parade? All right, so we're gonna try something here. You know, the ghosts have been here a while, so they obviously know the menu. So me and Jessica are gonna try to pick something of the, the ghost's recommendation. I hope they uh, suggest something vegetarian because I don't want any ghosts of pigs running around in my stomach. <sighs> also, I'm vegetarian. Uh, so I'll hold the paper if you, wanna, if you wanna make your first selection. Oh, I've never done this before. Touch it and wait for it to move on its own. Okay. Mm. So if you have any meal recommendations, Flow through Jessica. I'm holding the paper down. Chicken dippers? Is this where the kid is? <laughs> you little son of a bitch. <laughs> With an $8.95 chicken dipper. He also doesn't have eyes, so he doesn't know. All right, so if someone with eyes We'll find something good to eat here at the old spaghetti factory in Gastown. Here's the thing about the ghost not having eyes. He technically doesn't have anything. Like, he doesn't have a nose or a body or at all. So, like, yeah, he doesn't have eyes. Like, do you look like how you looked when you died? Like, what if I die and then I'm just, like, a huge black guy? <laughs> all right. Someone with eyes. If you can find me something to order. Manicotti. I would prefer some womanicotti if it's all equal. Is that vegetarian? We can switch. <laughs> You're getting chicken strips, bitch. <laughs> chicken dippers. Oh, chicken dippers. Yeah, what is it? You're gonna try some plum, honey mustard, or sweet chili They're sauce. They're chicken strips. They're chicken strips. Okay, that's been our investigation of the old spaghetti factory. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Jessica, thank you for, uh, for coming out with us. Please throw us a subscribe on YouTube and check out our Facebook page. Until the next one. I hope my bike's still here. <laughs> Good.